Right out of the gate, we're watching a machine sculpt grooves onto a metal gear. This isn't your grandfather's whittling. This is a kind of brutalist watchmaking, unforgiving and relentlessly precise. And here, this is where raw strength meets cold, hard physics. This machine isn't asking the iron to bend, it's telling it. There's a certain raw honesty to it all. No negotiation, no compromise, just immense, silent pressure, coaxing a straight line into a curve that some engineers somewhere dreamed up on a screen. It's like watching a giant gently teach yoga to a steel bar that has absolutely no interest in being flexible. The bar always loses. And then there's the fire. A glowing, cherry red bar of iron pulled from the furnace, looking for all the world like a captured sunbeam. It's malleable, it's vulnerable, and this mechanical hammer descends upon it. The process of carving a gear continues, a mechanical ballet of cold, sharp steel. Every single cut is a testament to incredible precision. Again, the beautiful violence of the forge. A glowing block of iron is beaten into submission, not with anger, but with purpose. Each strike of the hammer is a word in a sentence, telling the metal what it's going to become. Here, they're crafting a hoe blade. It's humble, it's ancient, but the process is anything but. This is where industry meets agriculture. This tool won't just sit in a shed, it will break ground, it will feed people. There's a nobility in that. This press is a lesson in conformity. A sheet of steel is forced to marry the frame beneath it, a perfect intimate fit. The pressure is immense, a final emphatic statement that leaves no room for argument. Look at these chain links. They're seamless, perfect, a testament to automation where every single piece is an exact replica of the last. It's the kind of consistency that builds empires and bridges. This machine is a cookie cutter for giants. It punches out perfect circles from a sheet of steel with a casual, terrifying ease. There's no wasted motion. And now for something more personal, the forging of a blade. A human hand guides the steel under the hammer. This is where art and industry shake hands. You can feel the history in this moment, a direct line from ancient blacksmiths to this very workshop. A guillotine for metal. A massive blade descends, and what was one large sheet is now many perfect squares. This is the CNC machine, the undisputed brainiac of the workshop. It carves through metal not with brute force, but with hyper-precise programmed intelligence. It moves with a terrifying grace, its cutting head dancing a complex pattern that a human hand could never replicate. We return to the primal scene, the glowing, hot metal being hammered. It's a constant theme, the cycle of heat, pressure, and transformation. This is how you give steel its character, its strength. And here, a machine that slices through a solid bar of metal as if it were a loaf of bread. The cuts are meticulous, turning a long rod into a stack of identical metal wafers. There's no drama, just relentless, cold precision. Another look at bending red-hot iron. You see how it yields to the machine's will, glowing with protest but ultimately surrendering its form? It's a beautiful, violent dance between heat, steel, and mechanical power. Cutting a metal pipe, a simple, necessary act. But watch the shower of sparks, each one a tiny, fleeting star, a byproduct of this industrial creation. Here, a massive glowing ingot is being shaped. This isn't about making a tool, it's about creating the raw material itself. It's squeezed and formed, its internal structure being aligned and strengthened. Forget everything you know about scrubbing and chemicals. This is pure 21st century alchemy. A laser, a literal beam of light, is vaporizing years of neglect and rust off this spring. 
It's like a magic wand from Star Trek, erasing the past one microscopic layer at a time. No dust, no fuss, just gone. The CNC machine is at it again, this time carving into a box beam. It's a surgical operation, cutting windows and ports with unnerving accuracy. This is how you build the skeletons of modern machines and buildings. A close-up on the business end of a saw blade. This is where the magic happens. Hundreds of hardened teeth, each one taking a tiny bite of steel. And now, a glowing steel bar is being bent into a perfect ring. The machine coaxes it around a form, a fiery serpent being charmed into a circle. It's a process that is both beautiful and intensely powerful. The CNC machine, our resident genius, is now carving intricate details into a metal bar. It's not just cutting, it's sculpting, creating a component with a specific vital function. The act of sharpening a saw blade. It's a reminder that even the tools that do the cutting need to be cared for, to be honed. A grinder spits sparks, renewing the blade's edge. And now, a red-hot bar of iron is once again being bent. There's a raw, almost primal elegance to it. This is the alphabet of metalworking, the straight line, the curve, the angle. And the CNC is back, this time on a pipe, cutting with a fluid, almost organic motion. It turns a simple piece of tubing into a complex component, ready to be part of something bigger. This machine is a monster. It bends and compresses a pipe, shaping it with incredible force. This is how you create the complex curves needed for everything from exhaust systems to structural frames. Welding the act of joining two pieces of metal into one with fire and electricity. It's a flash of brilliant, dangerous light. The CNC once again proves its worth, performing impossibly precise cuts on a metal tube. The level of detail is staggering. Here it is again, the welder's torch. It's the industrial equivalent of a needle and thread, stitching steel together with the seam of molten fire, a fundamental, indispensable skill. The lathe. It spins a piece of metal at high speed while the cutting tool shaves away material. Here it's truing the edge of a steel plate, a process that is both satisfying and hypnotically precise. This behemoth of a machine is putting a deliberate, powerful bend into a thick plate of steel. Another lathe, this time shaving the surface of a cylinder. The metal peels away in a continuous shimmering ribbon. And where does it all begin? Here, in the furnace, the creation of those glowing blocks of steel, the raw material of industry. This CNC is a true artist, cutting sensuous, flowing curves into a steel pipe. It's proof that industrial work doesn't have to be all straight lines and right angles. The swift, clean cut of a shovel blade by a stamping machine. One moment, it's a sheet of steel, the next, it's a tool. Its purpose instantly defined. This is how metal pipes are born. A flat sheet of metal is rolled and its edges are welded together in a continuous automated process. It's a river of steel flowing from the machine. Welding again, this time joining smaller pieces. It's a delicate, skilled operation. A puzzle being assembled with a torch that burns hotter than the sun's surface. An automated punch press, hammering holes into a steel plate with a relentless jackhammer rhythm. Each hole is perfectly placed, a pathway for a future bolt or rivet. Ever wondered how they make those giant springs for trains or mining equipment? You're looking at it. A massive, glowing rod of steel is coiled with terrifying force, 
It looks like the birth of the world's most dangerous slinky, a toy built for a titan. Creating threads for a connection. This machine carves a perfect spiral groove, allowing two pieces of metal to be joined with the simple, elegant power of a screw. And here's another way to do it. Dies clamp down and form threads onto a bar, not by cutting, but by displacing the metal. It's a faster, stronger way to create that essential spiral. This machine spins and carves a complex joint onto the end of a shaft. It's creating a mechanical handshake, a way for this part to connect and transmit power to another. Drilling a hole into a solid block of metal. It's a classic machining operation, but no less satisfying to watch. The slow, steady plunge of the drill bit. The spiral of swarf emerging from the hole. The forging of a knife. Heat, hammer, and the skilled eye of a craftsman. This is a tradition that goes back millennia. A perfect marriage of fire, steel, and human will. After a part is cut from a sheet, the excess material, the skeleton, is removed. It's a necessary and oddly satisfying part of the process. The handheld screw gun. After all the heavy industry, it often comes down to this. A simple, effective tool bringing components together, one screw at a time. Here, a rusty old piece of iron is being given a new life. A wire wheel scours away the corrosion, revealing the clean, bright metal underneath. This lathe is a marvel of efficiency, turning out screw after screw from a single rod of metal. Each one is a perfect little piece of mechanical genius, born in a flurry of motion and cutting fluid. An automated assembly machine fitting metal bars together with a series of precise robotic movements. It's a symphony of mechanical action, tireless and flawless. Here we see the skeleton of a modern building coming together. Box steel beams are welded into a frame, a strong, light, and efficient way to build. This is the architecture of our world being born. This machine is an artist of sheet metal, automatically creasing and folding it into a complex three-dimensional shape. It's like industrial origami. A gear is being subjected to a heat test. It's not enough to be the right shape. It has to be strong enough to withstand the hell of its working environment. Here, its metal is being proven. The CNC plasma cutter, slicing through thick plate steel with an incandescent jet of gas. It moves with an incredible speed and power. The fascinating process of metal spinning. A flat disc is spun at high speed and gradually formed over a mold, creating a perfect cone shape. It's like pottery but with unyielding steel. Creating a custom sanding tool for a specific profile. It's a reminder that sometimes to make the thing, a pipe is being compressed into a fitting. The sheer force involved is incredible. This custom polisher follows the exact contour of the workpiece. It's a clever bit of engineering, ensuring a perfect finish on even the most complex shapes. The milling machine. It's cutting head spinning furiously as it shaves the surface of the metal. A mechanic assembles the intricate gear train of a machine. It's like a high stakes puzzle where every single piece must fit and function perfectly with all the others. This is beautiful. A welder takes discarded pieces of scrap metal, the offcuts, the leftovers, and transforms them into something new and creative. It's industrial reincarnation. A CNC machine carves complex shapes into a box beam. 
This is precision manufacturing at its finest. The primal dance of the forge continues. A glowing block of steel is bent, stretched, and hammered, its internal structure being refined and strengthened with every blow. Here a machine is recutting the teeth on a worn out gear. It's a process of renewal, of giving an old part a second life, saving it from the scrap heap. The creation of a steel-toed boot cap. A sheet of metal is stamped into a shape designed for one purpose, protection. It's a small piece of armor for the everyday worker. This machine moves along a track, cutting a long, precise groove in a piece of metal. It's a journey with a very specific and very sharp destination. After a weld is made, the seam is often ground down to be smooth and invisible. It's an act of cosmetic surgery, blending the joint into the parent metal until it disappears. Another look at a powerful cutting machine, shearing through metal with an unstoppable force. The raw power on display is humbling. The CNC, our tireless robotic friend, is drilling and tapping holes in a series of bolts. A machine stamps out the rough shape of a spoon handle. From this humble industrial beginning, a familiar household object will be born. This press is squeezing a piece of metal, forcing it into a die to give it a new shape. And we end where we begin, with the machine carving grooves, sculpting the connections that will allow this part to mesh with another, to turn, to work, to be part of the great interconnected engine of our world. The assembly of parts, the final act. All these individual components, forged in fire and shaped by unimaginable force, are now coming together, ready to do the work they were made for.